Hello friends, welcome back and this is Preeti. Today we are going to see the illustrative problems in unit 1 of problem solving and python programming. Coming to the illustrative problem, the first problem is guess an integer number in a range. Okay. So in this, we will ask a computer to generate a random number between the range A and B. Suppose like starting number A is nothing but a starting number and B is the ending number. So we will ask the computer to generate a random number between the range A and B. Okay. And then we will prompt, we will ask the user to guess a number. Okay, so the, now what we'll do is we will we will check whether the guest number by the user it matches with the random number generated by the computer. If it matches, then we will say that the guest number is correct. Or otherwise, we will ask the user to prompt next number. We will ask the user to guess another number. So this process will get repeated until the guest number is correct. So this is the problem what we have to do. So for this, we have to write um, the algorithm and the flowchart. Okay. So first we will see the expected output. So in this, suppose a computer has generated a random number 12 from the range 1 and 20. So the range over here is the starting number is A and here it is 1 and the ending number is 20. So between 1 and 20, we are asking the computer to select one random number. So the computer has selected 12. Okay, from the range 1 and 20, it has selected 12. So now we will ask the user to guess a number between the same number between 1 and 20. Now, enter the guess. So the user has guessed the number and he says it is 19. So now we will go and check this 12 and 19. So it is not it is not matching. So we will write the sorry, the guess is too high. The, so the guess number is too high when we compare with 12. Now again, it will ask for the guess. So now the user is entering a number called 10. Okay, now again we will check 10 and 12. So when we compare 10 and 12, this number is low. So we will display like this. Sorry, the guess is too low. Again, we will ask to guess a number. Now the number, the guest number is 14. So again, when you compare it is 12 and 14, it is high. So we will display it. Sorry, the guess is, uh, sorry, the guess is too high okay so when it is like this and again we will ask for when when we give so the number between number should be between 10 and 14 only so suddenly the user guesses the number 12 so when he guesses the number 12 it uh, exactly matches with the number which is selected by the computer so uh, the computer will display yes the guess is correct so this is the process this is an output you should get it when you run this program okay so for this we are going to write an algorithm and flowchart okay so now we will see the algorithm coming to the algorithm we will write the first step of the algorithm is start the second step is we are going to read the starting number and ending number so let it be a and b and third step is that we are asking the computer to generate a random number between a and b and we are going to store it in n Okay, so now fourth step is we are prompting the user to make the guess and we are going to store it in guest number. So the user's guess is it is stored in a guest number. So this, this is a variable. You can have any variable. So I am storing it in a variable called guest number. Now what we have to do is we have to compare whether the user guest number and the number which is generated by the computer are one and the same. If both are one and the same, then we are going to the step 5. So, okay, so go to step 5. In step 5, we are going to print yes, the guess is right and we are going to end the process. Okay, do you all understood this? Now, if suppose if the guest number is, if the uh, if the process is not, uh, it is not, if it is not correct, else it goes to step 4.1. So, we are going to write a step 4.1. So now the control will goes to will go to step 4.1. Now it is going to check whether the guest number is greater than n. If it is greater, then we are asking to go to step 4.2. So now it goes to 4.2 and it is printing sorry the guest is too high. After writing this, it again has to go to the step 4 to again prompt the user to make the guess. So we are asking to go to we are asking the control to go to step 4. Again, it will ask for the guess and it will go and compare whether it is equal. If it is equal, then it will go and display the guess is right. Okay. Suppose if the guest number is here, it will if the guest number is not correct, it will go and check whether the guest number is greater than n. If it is not n, it will go to the step 4.3. 
in 4.3 it will display the guess is too low and again it will go to the step 4 so when the guest number is greater than n or less than n it, it will go to the step 4 and it will ask for the new guess so once if it is equal the guest number is equal to that computer generated number it will come to step 5 and it will print the guest the, the guest number is right and then it will stop the algorithm so this algorithm is very clear i think so so you can uh, easily draw the flow chart based on this algorithm okay so first we are going to get the start um, start uh, start the algorithm and we are going to get the starting number and ending number next is we are asking the computer to generate a random number next is that we are prompting the user to get uh, to uh, make a guess and we are going to store it in guest number and we are going to compare this guest number with the n and if it is equal we are printing the guess is correct if it is not equal we are going to check whether it is greater than n or less than n if it is greater than n we are going to display the guess is too high or otherwise we are going to print guess is too low and it will go to the step 4 this process will get repeated so here we are using an iteration concept to run the, to run the same set of statements multiple times now we will see the flow chart for this so coming to the start we are, then next we have read a comma b then we are going to asking the computer to generate so random between the range a and b between the range a and b we are asking the computer to generate a random number that we are going to store it in n variable next is we are going to get it from the user so we are inputting we are getting the details from the user so we use this statement called input to get the inputs from the user and we are storing it in a variable called guest number and we are checking this guest number and n so we are using a rhombus symbol to do this if the guest number is equal to n then if it is equal to s means then we will print the guess is correct and it will stop the algorithm if it is not equal it will come here and it will check whether it is greater than n if it is greater than n it will print the guest number is too high if it is lesser than n it will print the guest number is too low then both the steps it will go to again it will go for asking the new number so we have to repeat this process so that is why i am moving the control from here to this line okay to this block so again it will ask so this process will get repeated until it becomes equal once if it becomes equal it comes to print the guest number is correct and then it goes to stop the algorithm so i think you all have understood this uh, this guessing a number uh, so here i have explained to you the expected output what will you get and then i have explained to you the algorithm for doing this uh, problem and again i have explained to you the flow chart okay thank you